Alright everybody, if you turn to page 37, we're going to be covering the Imperial Curse. Now, let me tell you guys this, okay? The Imperial Curse, not only is it one of the three unforgivable curses, it is actually one of the more powerful curses. For instance, in theory, as it's never been done for... Yes, Emily? We have an issue. Can it wait till after class? Um, I don't think it can. Like, this okay. needs to be solved right now. Okay. Alright, class, you're you're dismissed. Okay, come on, let's come back here. Interrupting a class, Emily, you should know better. <sighs> well, listen, this was important. Okay, what is it? Bob is coming to Hogwarts and he's gonna try and fight you. He's coming here, like, now. I'm supposed to be worried about that why? Bob is nothing to me. I mean... Give me one good reason why I should even consider him an opponent. No, actually, don't even answer that. Listen, have you found anything out about the hooded aura that killed your sister? No, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm telling you this so you can help me find him. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, you have to have something. You can't expect me to do all the work here. Listen, I'm helping you and you're supposed to be helping me. That's the deal that we made, or did you forget? I understand the deal that we made, but the only thing you've told me, helped me with so far, was just telling me that Bob was on his way. Even yeah, if, and it might just be saving your life. Even if Bob surprised me, he couldn't kill me. The, he can't even cast any of the unforgivable curses. He's pathetic. That's what you think. Keep underestimating him. <sighs> yeah, right. There's nothing he can do to me. Fine, then. We'll go to the, we'll go to the headmaster's office. We'll meet him there. And then I'm going to have you take us somewhere. And you're going to take us to the... You do know where the tournament ground is, right? Yes. We're going to be going there. And we're going to end this. And uh, I doubt anyone's going to be able to help him. Come on, Emily. Are you sure about this? Oh, come on. Let me put it this way. Bob isn't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. He's... Neither are you, apparently. Why? Because I'm underestimating him? You don't know what happened, okay? You're making foolish decisions. What if you got hurt? I'm here telling you this so this, you can avoid that. I've never been harmed by him. That's what you don't get. The time turner, everything that I've done so up to now to make things work the way I want it to, he hasn't been able to touch me in the other timeline, so I doubt he's going to be able to touch me in this timeline. So... How about you show a little bit of faith in your partner? <sighs> okay, whatever you say. Alright, so I doubt Bob is going to be able to do anything to me anyways, Emily. Come on. No matter what you say is going to... Hi, friend. Are you... See, this is what I meant. See, you should have listened to me. He got here before you even thought of coming here. Now what are you going to do? <sighs> Just go prepare the tournament arena, Emily. <sighs> Idiot. Bob. Welcome to my office. How may I help you? Get out of my chair, Bob. Nah. Who are these two luges you brought along with you? Isn't it obvious? That's my auras. Your auras. Yeah. So you got a cat and a squ a squirrel. Why how do you have a squirrel? Wait. Who are you? A squirrel. I, I can see that, but... What? Uh, don't ask. Don't question it. Where do you find these people, Bob? I mean, I hand-select my followers. Would he just go to the nearest dumpster and say, Hey, kitty, 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 come on, let's join the orders! Or, here's <laughs> Squirrel... That offensive. Oh, come on. She hasn't said a word That's anyways. That's where you were born. What? What do you mean? You're garbage. Oh, oh, you want to be like that, huh? Okay, then what's your story, kitty? Uh, I, he found me. I was kind of abandoned. I knew it! See? I, mm, I guess that's the kind of person you are, though, Bob. But today is not your day. You should not have come here, because I know why you're here, Bob. You're here to try but and... this chair is comfortable. I understand it's comfortable. I made it comfortable. I used a spell to make it comfortable. Now... We're going to go to the tournament arena, 
and I'm going to kill off all of you, one by one, and I'll let you all watch it. So let's go. Operate! Welcome to the arena! How do you like it? I had it made especially for this occasion. It looks awesome, I love it. Thank you. Although I was hoping that I would have to use this on you later, it's it's not quite finished. As you can see, the, the torches aren't up, and there's no viewing box, really. But, uh, what am I saying? You won't, you won't live long enough to see it anyways. So, Bob, any last words before I kill you and your friends? Who's to say you're gonna kill us? Vermilius! Ow! Emily, Get over here, you jerk. fight them! What are you just standing there for? <laughs> Bob, yeah. you have nothing on me. You look at this, your, fr Cynthia. your friends aren't even helping you. It's pathetic! They don't, I bet they're not even truly your friends. Uh, Bombarda! You ain't got nothing on me, Bob. Vermini! Damn it! Emily, cover me, I'm blind. Uh. <laughs> uh, that does it. I've had enough of this. Avada Kedavra! Goal! Oh, no! <laughs> Doesn't that sound familiar? Ugh. When your friend Geb died, don't you remember his you don't screams? Talk about Geb. Oh, I'll it's talk Cynthia. about him all I want. Oh, the screams were wonderful. <laughs> and you gave up your only amulet to save him. You can't even defeat me now. It's Cynthia. <sighs> This is going to be fun, and now your cat is dead too. Avada Kedavra! No! <laughs> Monster! <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Bob? I told you. Bombarda! <laughs> it doesn't even hurt, Bob. That's, that's what you need to know. I don't feel pain from your wand. It's pathetic. You have nothing on me. I will kill you here and now! Avada Kedavra! <laughs> so, something doesn't feel right. I... I can still see- couldn't have been that easy. You I sense their presence. I killed them, didn't I? I hit them with the spell. I think you just got played. What?! No, I definitely hit them with the Vada. I watched it hit them. It couldn't them. have been that easy. It couldn't have been. And then, what the hell just happened? Ugh, where are we? Ugh, what happened? How are we alive? I, I don't know, but guys. it's one giant tree. I, I saved you guys. How? How? I teleported you away before you can get hit. Oh. Hello. Oh. Where are we? Yeah, I'll come inside, I'll explain more. Oh. How did we get here? I operated you guys before you died. But why did you save us? Yeah. I'll explain it. Take this memory. Throw it in the cauldron. Alright. Cold for me, Mother? Gemma, dear, what happened to your face? One of those damn fifth years cast it incendio on me. Burnt my face good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Gemma. I know you're in pain, but I need you to do something for me. What do you need, Mother? Anything for you? We need to hide the child. If we don't, Frederick will surely kill him. I can't be serious. You already hid his birth from Father. He will know something is wrong when he noticed you're still exhausted. I understand, but the prophecy said there would be one true Dark Lord, born on the 9th of October. If Frederick finds out that he has a twin brother, Frederick will kill him. Please hide him. I... I can't. Father will... I will tell him you left to start the preparations for the battle at Hogwarts to cover the birth of the true Dark Lord. 
Take this child with you and make sure he grows up strong. He will be the only one who can stop Arca in the future. This I know. How can you be so sure? Is there another prophecy? It doesn't make sense. There is no fool, and I don't think you can do this. You can. You're a strong witch, one the Dark Lord trusts greatly. Now take him and go before Frederick returns from putting the Horcrux inside of Arca. Okay, so what is his name? I'll name him Bob Clagg, second heir to Slytherin. Yeah.